Burl, Iowa is in a housing crisis, but not for long in Woodbine. They're working with new style development to bring over 100 homes, inviting new residents to the community. KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe shows us this rural community is sprawling. Michelle Berry calls Woodbine, Iowa, a diamond in the rough. It was a big shift, you know, coming back to small town, but there are not many small towns where this is in better shape than it was 20 years ago. And it's exciting. Five years ago, Barry moved her family of seven back to her hometown and to her surprise, it's bustling. I think this has been a process of 10 plus years of community members, the school partners all coming together, very progressive thinking and wanting to move forward. And she's right. Deb Sprecher, the executive director of Woodbine Main Street, says Woodbine has seen a revitalization. Having access to services that people need and then an excellent school district, which we have um, one of those and Woodbine Community School, and then housing. That housing, able to happen through a block grant from the Iowa Economic Development Authority, will bring 150 new homes, 40 of them considered affordable housing to Woodbine, with the connector being the new crew center. And we call that smart growth, where you're not just doing disparate uh, housing, you know, in other places. The crew center is a community-funded facility offering health and wellness, recreation, and career and technical education for high school students all under one roof. I think too for students to be able to have a plan after graduation is very empowering. Barry is the curriculum director of Ignite Pathways. She says the program is so popular it's getting its own space. Fall of 2023 there's a 45,000 square foot facility that will be opened and house all six pathways. Sprecher says the development especially the housing initiative was very intentional. And so if you can um, provide an inventory of energy efficient um, affordable homes for families, you can grow your population and, and sustain your economy. Sprecher says the average rural home was built pre 1940s. You know, they're hard to keep up. They're hard to heat and cool. Not only will the homes be energy efficient, but because of construction costs, the affordable family homes are valued at 275,000 and will be sold at 175,000. It's a gap fill because of the high uh, cost of new construction, it's out of reach for a lot of families. Constructions of the home should start in late summer, early fall. Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7.